please see this question sir again a very very good question everyone please keep on listening to all the problem what i take in today today's class sir on selling 17 articles for 720 rupees that means totally i am selling 17 articles that is the meaning of first statement totally i am selling 17 articles on selling 17 articles for 720 rupees a shopkeeper loses the cost price of five articles a shopkeeper loses the cost price of five articles find the cost price of each article find the cost price of each article now to make it very very easy for you people i will assume that let the cost price of one article let the cost price of one article be one rupee everyone listen carefully sir let the cost price of one article be one rupee what is that they are saying you in this question they are saying that on selling 17 articles if one article is costing one rupee on selling 17 articles that means i want to sell 17 articles first thing is if i want to sell 17 articles i should purchase the 17 articles initially right so cost price of one article if it is one rupee cost price of 17 articles will be 17 rupees the common sense should say as this statement right cost price of 17 articles should be 17 rupees now i want to sell these 17 articles for 720 rupees whatever it is forget about that a shopkeeper loses the cost price of five articles a shopkeeper will lose the cost price of five article how much he is losing that means the loss is nothing but cost price of five articles one article is one rupee five article is five rupees that means five rupees loss that means can i say that the selling price is cost price i purchased is for 17 rupees i am having 5 rupees loss that means the selling price should be how much selling price would be 17 minus 5 it is 12 rupees but according to the question selling price is not 12 selling price is 720 rupees 12 is becoming 720 multiply by 60 find the cost price of each article cost price of one article is one rupee that they are asking how much it is totally that also multiply by 60 1 into 60 is 60 no formula is required to solve any question what we use i hope the idea is very very clear for you people for one article i will pay one rupee and purchase in some other shop so i also purchased 17 articles so i paid 17 rupees so that 17 articles i should sell it but when i am selling that 17 articles i am having loss of five articles one article one rupee five article five rupee loss that means i sold it for 12 rupees question says 720 into 60 into 60 now please see the next question your question is if a shopkeeper sold 34 articles for one rupee he will lose 40 percent that means if a shopkeeper sold 34 articles for 1 rupee, he will lose 40 percentage. They are saying that selling price of 34 articles, it is nothing but 1 rupee. Selling price of 34 article is 1 rupee. In this process, he will lose 40 percent. This is what is given in the first statement. Your second statement says, how many articles should he sell for 1 rupee? Selling price of how many articles should happen for 1 rupee so that the profit will be 20 percentage. Profit percentage will be 20 percentage in this case. I hope the idea is clear. I hope the idea is clear. Now, everyone keep, just keep on listening to this problem, sir. Everyone please listen to this problem very, very carefully. Can I say that? Suppose if it is the price which I am writing here and suppose if it is the article which i am writing here now it is given in the question that for 34 articles i am selling at one rupee price right for 34 articles i am selling at one rupee price if this is the scenario i am losing 40 percent in the transaction what is the meaning of losing 40 percent losing 40 percent is nothing but it is 60 percentage what i have with me i have 60 percent in my 
what is that i have 60% in my uh, what is that pocket if i have 60% in my pocket i that means that i lost another 40% gaining i lost another 40% gaining that means if my pocket is having 60% then the price will be 1 rupee for 34 articles now the question is if the profit is 20% that means 100 percentage is what i have on that 100 percent 20 percent profit that means totally i have 120 percent 60 is becoming 120 multiply by 2 1 also multiply by 2 1 into 2 is 2 rupees that means can i say that how many articles should he sell in one rupee is the question how many articles should he sell in one rupee is the question so that he will have 20 percent profit for one rupee selling price he will he has to sell some articles for two rupees selling price that means two rupees is not the question question is for one rupee it is divided by two 34 also divided by two 34 divided by 2 is he should sell 17 articles for 1 rupee so that he will have 20 percentage profit answer for this question is 17 articles again a very very easy way of solving question answer for this question is 17 articles he should sell in 1 rupee so that he will make 20 percentage profit i hope the idea is very very clear for you people Samir Roy says 17, which is absolutely right, sir. Whatever you have answered is absolutely right. Kindly avoid commenting the answers so that we will not have our live chat with too many answers. 